Well, this is your long track, long track skate. Um, it's got a pretty, uh, a pretty low cut um, around the ankles. Other than short track, is a little bit higher. Um, you got, it's just like a shoe. You got laces inside. This is the, this is called the mechanism right here. This bar um, and this little thingamajig comes off like this. They got springs that are attached that, that keeps the tension. Uh, I put tape around them because when it claps in like that, sometimes the spring vibrates and you can feel it in your foot. So. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, this is a steel blade, which is a little bit a little bit softer than an aluminum blade, so it, there's a little bit more feeling, I, I think. What's the purpose of the the purpose of the clap? Yeah. Um, well, when you when you push when you push it opens up like this, and it so the blade stays on the ice a little bit longer, so it makes your push longer. So that it makes you go faster. Okay. You, the longer you you can push, the longer your leg is to push, the faster you can go. The more something you can get out of it. I don't know. <laughs> I just skate. I don't really. I don't even. I don't deal with this. I got my coach that sharpen on, <laughs> sharpens my blades. I got my assistant coach that that bends my blades, and I just tie them up and skate. So those are really sharp. How often do they get? Uh, how often are they sharpened? Um. Probably, probably twice a week, but that's just because um, my coach wants me to have sharp blades on either before tempos or before races. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll, I'll have them sharpened about two times a week. So short track skate. Um, this one's mine, and as Tucker stated, short track skates a little higher for a little more support and stability because our turns are tighter. I guess a little more ruthless. And uh, yeah, same, same laces, like a shoe, tongue, here. I have two sets of laces, I like that. It's comfortable for me. And then lace cover, some straps to hold them, hold them down and in place. And then, yeah, the blade is fixed, so there is no clapping action whatsoever. It's in place. And uh, yeah, the boot itself is uh, made out of carbon fiber. Like its base is carbon fiber, and it's uh, custom to my foot. So it's supposed to be an exact mold of, I don't know, my feet, I guess. Mm -hmm. how, and, many, uh, how many pairs do you have? How many uh, pairs do you have? I have one pair that I really, really love. I have a, a couple other pairs that I've worn in the past that are decent, but this is this is the best one that mm -hmm. I've ever worn. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I feel really comfortable. And, um, yeah, my blade is actually made of aluminum, but uh, there's a, like, they make two different types of, at least this company makes two different types of blades. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only difference is really the glue that's in between the bimetal blade and the aluminum frame. So mm -hmm. this glue makes the blade stiffer. So and I like that feeling. So and I guess um, our blades are different from hockey and figure skates in a sense, not just the length and the thickness being so thin, but uh, in how they're sharpened as well. They're flat ground and not hollow ground. So it actually creates two edges and a flat, so it increases gliding. Different lengths. I, I'd say like average speed skater you can go anywhere from 16 and a half to mine I think I have the longest at 18. I don't know if any long track skaters wear 18. I think Nick might. Mine, I think mine are... I don't it's, know. it's rare. It's like there are less people wearing 18. I feel like a lot of people will wear 17, 17 and a half. That seems to be the... There, I think there's some blades, some kids maybe will like have a 17, 2, yeah, 5 17. like in the middle. So, it's all it's all preference and feel. And, it can mm -hmm. be kind of expensive too to to figure that stuff out. You got is that little? That's Travis's that? little tag. He likes drawing that face. <laughs> did you draw that on yes. his skates? Yes, I did. He asked. He also got my got me a little nickname right there. Oh. The truck. <laughs> I got tic tac toe. <laughs> Isn't that with Shawnee? Yeah, I beat Shawnee. <laughs> tic tac toe. It's kind of wearing away, but you can see my three X's right there. Fooled him. He thought the game was over, so he just put an O somewhere, but he little did he know I had one more spot left. <laughs> so are these the actual skates you're going to be wearing at the Olympics, too? Yeah. Yeah, these are the ones. These are the ones. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a big part of, of skating that people don't realize is our, our equipment, you know, like training and, and conditioning and all that kind of stuff. like. 
yeah, it's good, but if you don't feel good on your skates and you don't have the feeling that you need, especially for sprints, then then um, it's not going to work out for you, you know? Uh, so, uh, yeah, like what Travis was saying, like if we, as, as long as we know that nothing's happened to them and we haven't dropped them and, um, you know, we keep an eye on them, then then uh, we'll be skating good. So, I mean, it's it's real it's real touchy um, part of skating, though, because it's... Uh, Everyone's different. You just got to find a feeling that's that's good for you. And sometimes it's hard to find and keep. So I don't think really good equipment will make a skater, but I think like like below average equipment can really hinder, can really hold you back. Like if you have a like I guess like because our blades are also bent, and to help help with the corners. Like if you have too much bend, it's gonna maybe take away from your legs, and that'll just it'll be harder to push, and therefore you're gonna probably go slower. So.